In this video, I'm going to show you a auto ML library in Python called Dabble, which stands for Data Analysis Baseline Library. And without further ado, we're starting right now. So the Dabble library allows you to perform a quick EDA, and at the same time, it also allows you to build machine learning models very rapidly. And so if you like, and so if you like Pandas profiling, I think you're going to like Dabble because it works pretty much in a similar fashion whereby it requires you minimal code in order to build a quick machine learning model along with data visualization. And so let's have a look at the website of Dabble. And so in this particular example, you can see that you could just import Dabble, import the functions to perform the train test split, load in the data set, and then you could load in the X and Y variables from the digits data set, and then you perform the data split. And after you perform the data split, you create a simple classifier, and then you fit the model, and then the input argument would be the training data X and Y, and that's all. And then you could just evaluate the accuracy score using the SC.score. And SC is the simple classifier coming from Dabble. And then the resulting would be like this. And aside from being able to automatically build machine learning models, you could also quickly perform exploratory data analysis, whereby if you only use a single line of code here, plot, followed by the input X and Y, you're going to get a series of plots shown here and here as a mosaic plot, and also some pair plots. And so let's have a look at some of the examples here. So in the left panel, you want to click on general examples. And so for some of the examples shown here, there are the wine classification data set and the Ames housing data set provide some nice visuals. So why don't we go ahead and click on the Ames housing data set. And then we're going to also try it out on the Google Colab. And so these are the visualizations. Let's have a look at what code are required to produce this. So only this. So let me copy the block of code here. Where actually they provide a Jupyter Notebook here as well. But nevertheless, I already have my Google Colab open. And so why don't I just type in here, Dabble Ames Housing Data Set Visualization. So first thing first, let's install the Dabble library. Hit install Dabble, wait a short moment. All right, and it's being installed. All right, and it's installed. So let's paste in the code from the prior example, run it. All right, there you go. So it's generating the plots as shown in the previous website. So with minimal effort. So let me show you a line by line explanation of the code. So here, we're importing from Dabble the plot function. And then also from the Dabble data set, we're loading in the Ames housing data set. And then we're importing matplotlib.pyplot as PLT. And so we're assigning to the data variable the Ames housing data set given by the load Ames function. And then the plot function as input argument, we put in the data. And then we put in the target variable, which is the sale price. And then from the matplotlib, we put in plt.show, and that's it. So from the output here, it specifies that the target seems to be a regression, and it is showing the top 10 out of the total of 26 continuous features. And the sale price is shown here, and it's shown as a histogram. And then you see all of these scatter plot between continuous features versus target, which is the sale price. So here you can see that some variables are discrete and that they do show like a positive trend. This one as well, but a bit dispersed at the end here. So these are the scatter plot and then the categorical feature versus the target, which is the sale price. So you can see all of the various box plot for the categorical feature in relation to the sale price. So it provides you the ability to perform a quick EDA. So using this plot function. So if you have an existing data loaded up, you could just use plot and then the data and then the target variable. So let me try this on my own data set. Let's go back to the data professor. Let's go to the data repository and let's go to the Delani data set here. Delani solubility with descriptors and click on the raw, copy the link, go back and let's see. 
So we're going to load in the data. So let me specify it here. So load data. And so we're importing pandas as pd. df equals to pd read csv. And then the URL. And then let's have a look at the data. And then we just need to type in plot the name of the data frame. And then the target, which is block s. And let's run it. All right. And so our target is block S and this is the distribution and it shows the continuous feature versus the target. Okay. So no box plot here. What about another data set? How about the penguins data set? Oh, I click on the wrong one. Let's go to data, find the penguins cleaned and then click on raw, copy the link. So I type here solubility data set. And then here we're going with the penguins data set. So df equals to pd read csv, the URL. Let's have a look at the data frame and then plot df and then our target. Let's specify species. Okay, and so the target distribution there was shown for the species Adeli, Chinstrap, and Gentoo. So we see the count. And then here we have the scatter plots. And then at the diagonal, which is the comparison between the self, we have the bar charts. Okay. And then here we have the PCA. Okay. So very handy. It provides you the ability to quickly generate the PCA. And it also provides the screen plot, which allows us to visualize the cumulative variance of the PCA and also the individual variance of each of the PCs or the principal components. So you could ignore the 0.5 and the number of principal component here are shown as one, two, and three. All right, and they have the categorical features versus the target, pretty handy. So the islands versus the species. So you can see that the Torgerson Island, only Adeli are found there. And for the Dream Island, only the Chinstrap and Adeli. As for the Bisco Island, only the Adeli and Gentoo are found. And so it provides you a quick way to visualize the categorical features versus the target. Okay, very cool. And we could also try it out with other data set as well. Okay, and so let's head on back to the example website. Move back. Let's have a look at the classification example. Okay, so we did this already. So the penguins data set provided this PCA analysis. Let's see what else do they have here? The diamonds data set. Let's have a look at that. Okay, so essentially they're similar to what we have already done. Okay, so these are the examples of the plotting and how about here model explanation. Okay, so there are the partial dependence plot for explaining the contributions of the features. Simple classifier. Quick start ML. So in their example, they provide the Titanic data set here. And it's dabble.plot Titanic survived okay, and they provided the plots here and the linear discriminant analysis. Okay, have a look at the machine learning with Dabble. So Dabble provides you tools for you to perform cleaning and also for inspecting the data. So have a look here, data cleaning. So you could type in dabble.clean and then data. Okay, so it detects the data types and then it will perform appropriate conversions. Okay, so you could even provide some suggestion on the data type conversions. And for EDA, it's the plot as we have already performed EDA using the plot function. And the auto ML is here, the simple classifier. And so it performs various model building, including Gaussian naive Bayes, multinomial naive Bayes, logistic regression. So it provides some baseline modeling and it makes use of a similar scikit-learn style whereby you use the fit function to train the model and then you input the X and Y features. Let's have a look here. Enhanced model building. Any classifier provide a strong baseline. Okay, so let's make use of the simple classifier. Let's copy that here. Let's go back to the example. Okay, so let's have a look at the prior example data that we have done. So for solubility data set, let's put in the code here. 
And then for data, let's load in the data again. So data is in the DF. So here we change it to DF and the target column would be log S. Let's run it. Okay, so did we import it? Okay, so we have to add from Dabble import, from Dabble import simple classifier. Oh, unknown target type continuous. So apparently it will handle only classification data. Okay, so it does have its limitation here. Let's give the penguins data set a try. So let's copy this. So let's run the data for penguins again. And we're gonna use species for the target. All right, so it worked. And so the performance, accuracy about 0.754, decision tree 0.964, running the class week balance mode and logistic regression. And so it says that logistic regression provided the highest accuracy. Okay, so pretty good. Let's have a look at the website again. So we have tried this already, the initial model building using the simple classifier. Okay, so this is not yet implemented. Okay, this too. Okay, so it's a work in progress. And so you should definitely give it a try. It allows you to quickly build the model, but then it only has a selected collection of learning algorithms. And apparently it did not work for our regression data sets. But it did provide some pretty good PCA analysis as shown here. And the visualization was crafted very nicely. And it also provides the scree plot. And so only this is a gem already here. And this is also very nice as well. The categorical feature versus target. Okay, so as we can see here, data sets that are able to perform classification, the Dabble library works well on those. Whereas for the regression data set, it has its limitation. And so let me know in the comments, what do you think about the Dabble library? And if you're finding value in the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and also make sure to hit on the notification bell so that you'll be notified of the next video. And as always, the best way to learn data science is to do data science. And please enjoy the journey.